Welcome to another edition of the Colorado Eagles Weekly Update. I'm Kevin McClue, joined as always by the head coach of your Colorado Eagles, Aaron Schneekloth, and uh, finally back in this office, back in this arena. Uh, it's been two weeks. Uh, I would imagine it's nice for yourself and the rest of this team to finally be getting back to home ice here this week. Yeah, it's it's nice to get through that stretch of the schedule where we knew it was going to be difficult with a lot of travel and a lot of games in a short amount of days. And uh, I thought our team handled it very well. We, you know, we faced some adversity with some injuries and some call-ups and uh, had a real strong week against Wichita and Tulsa and look forward to bringing that back here in front of our fans at the BEC. Well, it was a great bounce back and you got to see uh, some new faces that entered this lineup, uh, not the least of which the performance of a guy like Ryan Olson who goes out there and uh, just seemed almost unstoppable at times. Yeah, he was a, he was a player we liked in the summer and we, we liked uh, when we watched him with Utah and when the opportunity arose for him to come back from Europe and potentially join our team, we felt that was a, a move we needed to jump on and he's a, a big, strong, right-handed shot who is, does extremely well in the circle he's got explosive speed and adds a lot of pace to our game and and he's off to a great start and he's going to be a big player for us down the stretch also exciting that you're expected to get some uh, some fresh bodies back in the lineup and some impact players and matt garbowski and jesse mitchin that's a nice boost up front this week yeah absolutely um you know two players that we've counted on all season long and uh, we've done a real good job filling that void as they've been uh, uh, hurt, and we're excited to have them back. You know, in, inserting our captain and a player that plays in every situation for us, and then a, a big power forward of Jesse Mitchin, who, Mitchin, who plays with that edge and is physical and scores goals. Uh, um, it, it's exactly what this team needs right now. Well, by the end of this week, it's going to be the month of March. That is the uh, the real start of this playoff push. You're playing a team here this week that you saw last week in the last two games, the Tulsa Oilers. This is a team that also is battling right now in that playoff push. What can fans expect from this Oilers team? How do you try to prepare for them? Well, I mean, seeing them, you know, just recently in their building, their team, that they're, they've got extremely strong goaltending and, and uh, obviously uh, some players uh, – some high-end caliber players that can put the puck in the net and we've got to be strong defensively and with uh, the insertion of our, our two forwards here this week and playing back at home it is going to re-energize our hockey club and um, you know it's going to be a, a mini playoff series a team that's fighting to get in that last spot and and a playoff uh, position for us to maintain first in our division. Well, finally back home, first time in three weeks. Some great games coming up this week. It'll be nice to be in front of that home crowd. We have the Pepsi Family 4-Pack coming up on Wednesday and then on Saturday. Brought to you by Ace Hardware. It is Jake Mardo Gnome Night, and that'll be brought to you by Ace Hardware coming up on Saturday. Schneeks, some big matchups this week. Good luck. Thanks, Kevin. All right, that is Eagles head coach Aaron Schneekloff. We'll talk to you next week.